And and now, Reverend Al, I guess we're going to hear a brief reflection from the family, and this is hard. So let, let me, as we bring the family, I also want to acknowledge some of our faith leaders and our faith leaders activists that have come all the way. First of all, a man who interprets the intelligentsia of our time, the Socrates of this generation, Dr. Michael Eric Dyson. The pastor of New Birth Baptist Church of Atlanta, Georgia, Reverend Jamal Bryan is in the house. I'm sorry, Reverend Jamal Harrison Bryan. Reverend John Gray from Greenville, South Carolina. I must acknowledge two members of the board of Nash Action Network, outstanding clergymen, the pastor of Mount Pisgah Baptist Church in Harlem, and the head of MPAC and a member of the national board. Uh, stand up. I'm trying to see where he's sitting. Okay, there he is, Reverend Johnny. Stand up, Reverend. Johnny Green, Johnny L. Green, and pastor of New Hope Baptist Church in Elizabeth, New Jersey, member of our board, head of Nantech, the Reverend Steffi Bartley. I want to thank our staff and that work with Reverend Turner and his staff. I want to thank uh, all of the staff of our brother, attorney Ben Crump, it's a hard-working staff. Certainly, Reverend DeVest Toon of my staff, who really worked hard, and uh, Reverend uh, Dr. Well, he ain't a doctor yet. Don't blow his head up. Reverend Stephen Marshall travels with me, and uh, so many Reverend Nelson Rivers of uh, Nan staff that's been on this all week, and then probably the preeminent media expert in the country today, Rachel Nordlinger, who handled all media. And uh, Damon Byam, who's been with me since he was a little boy. So I, I got to say this to everybody so I don't get thrown off the plane tonight. And the family gather. Let me ask you all, as this family stands here, I want to say this publicly, what I've said, to the mother and father privately that we'll be with them when the cameras are gone we'll be with them when there's no longer a story the floyd family and and uh mother of eric garner gwen call all of them will tell you it doesn't matter to me how long i'm i'm in the family now i might show up for Christmas, look for my gift under the tree. Because we're wedded in this struggle together. And I want y'all to treat us like family and we want y'all to be like, if you're not going to stick with it, don't be jumping up in front of the camera for them. I know they done seen more of Tyree's best friends on TV that they didn't even know was his best friend. People hallucinating they knew Tyree. Well, you know something was Tyree and me. No, you just, you just getting a cameo. That is wrong. Let us support this family and stand with this family. Mama wants to build... She wants to build a skating rink in his name. We're going to do that. But we also gonna get some justice for mama and for daddy. Tyree was the kind of man would come home and eat lunch with his daddy, his stepdaddy, and they'd have dinner at night, raise it. This was a good man that didn't deserve this. And nobody deserves it, but he especially didn't deserve it. And to give you some of what he was about, we're gonna hear from some of the members of his family. We're gonna start with Kiana. Kiana's over here. Wait a minute before you speak. I didn't give Kareem. Nobody worked harder than Kareem. Uh, 
We called Kareem like he was on my payroll. Okay. <laughs> but we love Kareem. We're going to have Kiana and Latoya speak on behalf their, of his, their brother. These are two of the sisters of Tyree. Um, I'm going to take this time to just share some things that you guys may not know about my baby brother. Um, it's very hard to stand here, so bear with me. Um, Tyree was my baby brother. Um, him and I are 11 years apart. He was so special to me, and he loved me, and I loved him dearly. You know, being the oldest of three boys, I had to watch my brothers take them places that I probably didn't want to take them, watch them at times when I didn't want to watch them. But with Ty, I didn't mind. He never wanted anything but to watch cartoons and a big bowl of cereal. <laughs> so it was pretty easy to watch him. Um, on the night of January 7th, my brother was robbed of his life, his passions and his talents, but not his light. When my mother called me, and said, my baby brother was gone. I lost my faith. I cried. I screamed at God, asking how could he let this happen? And then my cries turned to anger. And anger turned to deep sorrow. Um, and a pain I never felt when those monsters murdered my baby brother. It left me completely heartbroken. I see the world showing him love and fighting for his justice. But all I want is my baby brother back. And even in his demise, he was still polite. He asked him to please stop. He was still the polite young man that he always was. He asked him to please stop. And they did it. And that's why my family will never be the same. And I will just always love my baby brother forever. Thank you. The poem I wrote is called, I'm Just Trying to Go Home. I'm just trying to go home. Is that too much to ask? I didn't break any laws along this path. I've skated across barriers. Designed to hold me back. I'm just trying to go home where the love is loud and the smiles are warm like the sunsets that come for me in the coldest of my storms I'm just trying to go home I hear the sirens I see the flashing lights the directions are clear black skin go left blue skin go right I'm just trying to go home. Mm. Don't I deserve to feel safe? Batons, badges, boots, bright lights against my face. I'm just trying to go home. Does anyone hear the pain in my cry? The struggle in my breath? God replied, come home, my son. Now you can rest. We're going to hear now from his brothers, James uh, Lazare and 
Jamal Dupree. How you guys doing? So, I didn't plan to speak today, but uh, I was all just sitting here watching everything. My brother was really robbed of his life. You know, uh, my brother didn't live up to the normal black man hype. A uh, basketball player, football player, rapper, none of that, right? He set his own path. You know, he made his own light. Um, he's seen the world way different than I've ever seen it before. And when I sit here and look at the screens of the work that my brother has done and from the vigils, from people talking to me about my brother, I learned so much about him. And I don't think people just tell me this or be telling me, but my brother really touched a lot of lives. He was a very solid individual. Yeah. He was very peaceful, he was very respectful. And again, I've spent a lot of time away from my brother and I wish that I haven't because I wanna know the person that everybody else knows. Mm. You know, and five officers, made that happen to her, I won't ever be able to do that. So, just being here just just sucks, but uh, I'll never forget my brother. I'll never forget my Gemini twin. I love you, and um, just save a spot for me, bro. Um, good evening. My name is James. My god brother is Tyree. Um, it's not too much I could say that hasn't already been said about him from everybody. Um, but I want to share y'all's story how he got his name, though. My mom named him. My, my, my sister Toya said earlier before, my mom named him, which was, um, came from a movie called Silverado, one of the characters in it. And she liked that movie, but she wanted to name me that. But she always kept that name in her back pocket for some reason, I don't know. Then 93 came and our boy came and she was like, there you are, Tyree. <laughs> and I used to always joke with him like, man, you keep messing with me, I'm gonna take my name back. And he'd be like, no you ain't, that's my name. But it was how he said it. Now, you know, he was eight and he was already knew who he was. Like, I'm Tyree, this is me, you know? And, I always remember that by my little dude coming in the house watching me cereal and watching Looney Tunes or something. But um, I just want to thank everybody for being there for us and, you know, and showing love. But it ain't too much I could say that hasn't already been said about my dude. I just miss him and I love him and this shouldn't have never happened, you know. Well, thank you all. Let me, as I bring the parents, recognize for the parents you talked about a movie that Ron Von liked that I was not supposed to acknowledge him. He just wanted to come down and fly down with me and fly back. But he's here with us and wants to do something around this. Oscar winning director Spike Lee is in the house. He's sitting there with my daughter, so you know she's going to try to be in the next movie, but the... <laughs> nobody has shown more strength and more dignity than Ron Von Wills. Ron Von Wills and Rodney Wills have borne such pain for us. And uh, they didn't want to speak, but I just think that we need to just hear them say something. This is their son. This is their struggle. And I know they're going to have weak days. Let us be their strength. Let's hear from the parents of Tyree.
I'd like to start by saying thank you for everybody's support. Uh, this has been a journey that's not going to end here. It's just the beginning. Amen. Um, we're looking forward to passing some bills. Mm -hmm. We're looking forward to getting justice for all the families over there. Yes, not just ours. This is a continuous fight that we have to fight for. That's right. We have to fight for justice. Yeah. We cannot continue to let these people brutalize our kids. That's right. uh, to have my siblings up here, my wife, and it's very hard for my wife you know, this is her baby son, and it's nothing like your baby boy. Um, when we got the news, it was very, very difficult. It was surrounded by lies, mm -hmm. deceit, yeah. mm -hmm. trying to cover it up. Mm -hmm. But as they say, what's done in the dark will always come to the light. And the light of day is justice for Tyree. Justice for Tyree. Justice for all the families that lost loved ones yeah. through brutality of police yeah. or anybody. And I can't say enough about how this community, how this nation, mm. and how this world has came together to support my family, to support my wife, and to support me. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. First of all, I want to thank each and every one of you for coming out to pay tribute to my son. Tyree was a beautiful person, and for this to happen to him, it's just unimaginable. I, I promise you the only thing that's keeping me going is the fact that I really truly believe my son was sitting here on an assignment yes, from God. Yes, And I guess now his assignment is done, and he's been taken home. Um, I want to thank, yes, yes, yes. I want to thank all the community activists yes. for being there for my family. I want to thank yes. the chief of police for acting swiftly, yes. Yes. the district attorney, the state of Tennessee. I want to thank my lawyers, yes. Mr. Ben Crump. Yes, sir. And yeah. especially Kareem Ali. <laughs> he has been our rock. He has been our rock. I just need whatever that George Floyd bill we needed passed. Yeah. yeah. there should be no other child that should suffer the way my son and all the other parents here have lost their children. We need to get that bill passed. Amen. Because if we don't, that blood, the next child that dies, that blood is going to be on their hands. Yeah.
give a hand to family. Give a hand to the family. We are going to stay with them.